Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is Zach, or the Firefly Remedy, and welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II gameplay commentary. Now, we are not playing Search and Destroy. We are doing something different, and something that I gave a really hard time upon the game's release. Because I tried this game, like, the first day I had it, and I hated this game mode. I absolutely hated it, but I kept giving it a shot, and eventually I just kind of figured out what I was looking for. I was trying so many different game modes, and I was really giving this game a hard time. Now granted, this game is still broken beyond hell, and I'm not going to make a commentary about all the broken parts about it. You can find a video about it if you want, but really this game needs a lot of help. And Call of Duty honestly doesn't feel the same to me as it did like years ago, but I'm still trying my best. And as you can see right here, I am like a third prestige level 40 now, so I have been playing quite a bit recently. Um, I went home for Thanksgiving break, I was like a first prestige, like level 54, and I got, I'm recording this commentary now, I'm back at school, and I am nearly a fourth prestige, so... That's, that's pretty cool. I, I mean, time played goes up extremely fast in this game mode compared to others. I don't know why I'm trying to help my case. I really don't care if people uh, think I play a lot, but whatever. Um, so I think I gave this game mode a really hard time at the start because I was comparing it so much to World at War's game mode or version of War. If you ever played it, it was an extremely fun game mode, arguably the most fun game mode I've ever played. I think I like Search a bit more, but... I don't know. I think it depended on the map, too. Like, if you were playing on a map like Sila, which was a huge map, it was so much fun. I can't even begin to describe how fun that game mode was. And I miss it. So I think I was really pissed off whenever they changed it so much. I'm like, why should we have to build barriers? Why should we have to do all of this? It, it just wasn't the concept that I was expecting. And I just gave it a rough time. And it wasn't really necessary. But. As you can see here, this is my favorite map, by the way. There are, like, three maps. I should know this by now. I have over a day played in this game mode already. Like, it's something ridiculous. And with double XP, and if you play it right, you can really, really rack up the points. Like, ridiculously. Like, as you can see right here, I'm getting so many points right now just for playing the objective. It's 40 points for a kill, but it's like 115, 125, something like that whenever you're actually in the objective getting defense or whatever and that's what I do I try and get in there and um, just you, you completely manipulate the system it's amazing and whenever you have real that guy just left I remember <laughs> I'm like free kill free kill oh he's gone he's gone but the one thing that's really annoying about this game mode is it's just grenade central as you can see right here and grenades in my opinion are ridiculously powerful in this game mode it's kinda stupid but it's whatever uh, that guy's just kind of sitting in the corner. Now, I believe I have like six or 7,000 kills in this game mode. Now, if you're not aware, this game mode doesn't affect your KD. It doesn't add on to your kills or deaths. So I'm still at like 2,800 kills in the game. Uh, which is where I left off like on first prestige so it's kind of annoying but at the same time I think it's one of the better things that can happen to me because I stress a lot about my KD uh, I'm just really weird like that so whenever I don't have to worry about it I can just rush in there and actually play the objective and have fun it, it, it's a whole different ball game it's a game changer man it's a game changer and I think that's, that's honestly one of the best things that could have ever happened to me because uh, I, I've been really struggling in this game, I'll be honest, I think this game is hard. And I'm seeing from a lot of other YouTubers uh, that usually have really good KDs, they're not doing too hot. They're not doing too hot, and not that that should really matter, it doesn't matter. But I make it out to be a bigger deal than it is, but it's whatever. Um, yeah, it, it, this game, a lot of people, there's also another stipulation that you don't rank up as fast in this game. People are like, oh yeah, you get a ridiculous amount of XP. But that's just because the games are like two to three times longer. Y yes, that may be the case, but my score per minute says otherwise. Um, I'm in the top 4,000 in the world for war right now, and it's based off a of score per minute. So that means I have a 400, at least a 400 score per minute. I mean, that's what it says on the leaderboard. So um, a 400 score per minute in this game is pretty damn solid. 
Um, if you try and do that in like TDM even, that's pretty damn hard. If you try to do that in Black Ops 3, it's easy. I think getting a 400 score per minute in Black Ops 3 is easy. Now, if you went back to my leaderboards, or, or my combat record in that game, you'd see I don't even have a 300, and that's because I play Surge, but that's a whole different story. So, hey, one thing I really like to do in this game, it, it's kind of a dick move, and that guy, he pulled a dick move. So basically, whenever you push through the enemy's territory, you force them to retreat, and they have a certain amount of time to get back, otherwise, like, a random bouncing Betty will just blow them up, it'll just spawn in and kill them. And a lot of enemies think they can beat that system or what. They, they like, camp back and wait for, like, people like us to brush through so they can get some free kills. But then they just killed afterwards, so it's, like, kind of pointless. Because it's only, like, 40 points a kill unless you're on the objective. So 40 points is, like, nothing. But as you can see here, I really manipulate the system and I just build everything. Because you get 150 points to build or destroy something. Or, if you're on the LMG, it's like 75 to 150 points. Like, that's crazy. That's a lot of points. I think it's 150. It's, it's, it might be a little bit less, but it, it's a lot of points to get LMG kills, too. So that's what I do. Um, whenever teammates are trying to get through, I might just sit there and build something. It's just, like, really funny because they, like, start shooting at me. And it, I don't know. But you got to get those points, man. And since I realized how high up on the leaderboards I am, I have to maintain that. got to maintain that. Otherwise, I'm going to stress about it. I stress about the stupidest things. But, yeah, honestly, War, I truly recommend it. My brother and I have been grinding it. And I think this is what's going to keep me playing the game. Because game modes like Search, I mean, Search is more fun than the other ones I find but even I'm not having fun with search I think search is way too repetitive now granted there are only three maps of war and it can get repetitive but just search I don't know I'm just not having fun with it I'm not and I'm trying to be honest here um, I want to enjoy search I want to enjoy other game modes now probably go back to them to get challenges and whatnot but for now this is where I'm having fun so this is where I'm gonna stick around for a bit and continue to play it so I hope you guys are excited um, if you want me to play other game modes or do whatever I will surely do that but once again this is what I find to be fun right now so I wanna be playing this and with that being said guys thank you all for watching and I will catch you all later peace out